Hey guys, it's Basil here with VTech. This video is all about the Huawei Nova Plus. 5.5 inch screen variant of the Nova, similar internals, but it's got a 16 megapixel camera around the back with image stabilization. And that makes all the difference when it comes to pictures. Gonna talk about the phone in a lot more detail soon, but if you wanna win one, description below, all the details are there. We're hosting a competition at the moment to win a Nova Plus. And if you like this channel, like what we're doing, subscribe, it's how you'll stay on top of it all. Now onto the Huawei Nova. 429 euros gets you a really good looking phone and while it's Nova by name I'm not entirely sure it's Nova by nature this doesn't look like the Nova it doesn't have the glass strip around the back it has a protruding camera bump this feels and looks more like a Mate 8 but that's not necessarily a bad thing all metal expensive 2.5d curved glass yeah kind of loving this 7.3 millimeters thick 160 grams USB type C at the base bottom mono firing speaker uh -uh. right hand side you can see all the buttons left hand side all the slots up the top 3.5 mil headphone jack that camera on the back with a dual flash and a fingerprint scanner available in a range of colors we've got the gold version here and do like the design it scuffs pretty easily which is a shame so you may want to opt for a case for this thing still thumbs up as for the screen also thumbs up 5.5 inches full hd 401 pixels per inch that's the same resolution and sharpness as an iphone 7 plus which is a significantly more expensive phone what's also really nice about this phone is if you jump into the display settings color temperature you can customize your color temperature and you can flick on eye comfort mode as for a blue light filter looks very very good does veer towards a cool hues anyway but you can customize it like I said which is a thumbs up and that customization is all down to Emotion UI which runs on top of Android 6.0.1 so Android means all the applications that you're going to want from the Google Play Store Emotion UI means all the customizations probably the most customizable of all the operating system skins you can see if I pinch out you get an overview of your home screens this is really nice because it lets me select multiple applications and I can drag them all together into a folder makes organizing my home screens really really easy I can also pinch out again Again, to swap out my transitions and jump into more settings where I can even customize my grid size. So EMUI has some really nice considered elements including the hidden applications tray. There are other parts that I don't like quite so much such as pull down from the top. The notifications and short the shortcuts screen are on two different panes but a lot of you actually like that. You keep commenting saying Basil you don't know what you're talking about. Well, horses for courses, people, but this is probably gonna be a Marmite thing. Stock Android fans are not gonna like it so much, but people who, like me, have gotten used to it over time and have seen the improvements will not mind it at all. As for the cameras, front-facing 8 megapixel snapper with an f2 lens, rear-facing 16 megapixel snapper also with an f2 lens, only this time with image stabilization. The camera performs very well and the shooting modes are extensive. In just point and shoot photo mode, you can see the fundamental picture quality is pretty great. It really, really is down to that optical image stabilization and a great, great sensor. The shooting modes are also pretty extensive from super night panorama right through to full manual and you can even all focus. Even though it doesn't have a dual lens, it will actually stagger like the shot. It will take a picture at various kind of focal points and then let you retrospectively refocus on an element. Doesn't work as well as on the Honor 8, for example, or the P9 Plus, but still manages to do a half decent job. Again, owing to that OIS. If we jump out of all focus, you can also see other shooting modes, light painting, beauty mode, photo mode, video mode, and time lapse as well as all of the other standard Huawei ones right through to document readjust. In the front camera, you can also expect a perfect selfie, which beautifies you as much as you want it to, and a makeup mode. And yes, I look phenomenally bad with makeup, although Gina looks pretty good. Anyway, back to this phone. The cameras generally get a really big thumbs up and it can also shoot 4K video. The Nova can shoot 4K video, but it doesn't support image stabilization in the video, which makes it much, much worse, unfortunately. So Nova Plus, for the win. Inside Snapdragon 625 with three gigabytes of RAM and therefore gaming is a sweet deal on it too. I installed loads of them because you've got 32 gig on board memory. You do also have an SD card and right through from Final Fantasy 2D games to Dragon Quest 8 3D games, which are a little bit more strenuous, worked well. This doesn't benchmark like a crazy beast, but it does reasonably well for the price. Um, so you may drop a frame here or two, but it is still going to do an adequate job. 63,953 on and 2.2. As for the battery, 3,340 milliamps, 
ample for that processor, which isn't a mega battery hog, and a good size for that screen. Ultimately meaning that the design screen camera from the 4K right through to the OIS and the battery get a massive thumbs up. The stuff I'm not so hot on, bottom firing mono speaker. You've also got no IP68 uh, water or dust resistance on here, which would have been nice. Some people won't like Emotion UI quiet so much. Camera bump, and this isn't necessarily cheap, 429 euros, but it hasn't been confirmed in pounds, so we need to see how that one pans out. And generally speaking, this thing is getting all of my love. Let me know what you think of the Huawei Nova Plus. If you like it, click that thumbs up button. If you don't like it, click that thumbs up button just because you like this video. And if you wanna win one, like I said at the beginning, check out the description below. That is exactly how you are going to be in with a chance. Thanks for watching BTEX.